Hi, I am Sarah, Chris's mom, and this is Carissa, and she loves, she loves doing lots of things. She loves movies and singing and going on bike rides. Bye bye bike ride. And you love going to work. It exceeds, right? Right. Right. Fun. Yes, yes, Chris has lots of fun with his staff. A normal day for us starts pretty early. I have two other kids at home that have significant special needs. Chris is actually the second one up. She loves to help, yes. Me help mama, me help mama, you, me help mama. You are my biggest helper. Thank you. Caring for her, there's a lot to it, but it's easy because I've been doing it for so long and it's kind of like having a permanent toddler in a way. She also displays attributes from like several other age groups too. Finding things that are appropriate is sometimes um, a challenge. And she and she talks not like <laughs> nonstop throughout the day, which is fine. But I'll be in the other room mom. to be like, right, mom, right, mom. mom. Yes, Carissa. You want to go bowling? Yeah. All right, we'll talk about it later. Carissa was born a pretty healthy baby. And then about two weeks before her third birthday, she got sick with what we thought was just a flu. Then midday, we noticed some purplish spots, like right under her eye. It did not look right. And the moment we walked into the emergency room with her, people started literally running. I mean, it was like a panic. Somebody just grabbed her from me and Life Flight was called. By the time Life Flight got there, she had already coded once, so they had to resuscitate her, and she did it two more times. She was a very, very sick little girl with meningococcal, and then they said that they had to do the amputations. As the blood's pumping out, it's leaking into your extremities, which causes basically your limbs to die. And then she was actually in the burn unit um, after that because of the nature of the disease, it eats away your skin, which is why you see all the scarring. I mean, she was a really, really sick little girl. Um, and um, yeah, we're just lucky to have her. <laughs> okay, I'll relax. You relax too. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm calm. Get them for rats. Okay. Them Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Deal. Deal. Shake. I think what draws people to Krissa is that she's she's so happy and she has been throughout and even during her darkest, darkest times when when I didn't know if I could be happy, I, I had to be because she was. And if, if she could be, then what right did I not have to be? After Carissa was finished with her adult transition program and we were still trying to find some kind of program for her to attend, I could tell that she was getting, I don't want to say depressed, but there was something missing in her life. Once we found Exceed and she started attending, her spark came back. A couple years ago, Carissa got the Spirit of Exceed Award and it was a really big deal and it was such a special night for her. They give it to somebody who represents what Exceed is all about, and Krissa was chosen. And she got a big old trophy and an award, and very, very proud. A one. Yes. I see her encouraging other people like in ways that she doesn't even understand. I've heard several times from people like, oh, she's the happiest person I know, and I mean, that's... It's, she, tr <laughs> she truly is like that. She's, she's <laughs> happy almost all the time at home. And um, you laugh. yes, you like to laugh. <laughs> you laugh. <laughs>